as I was looking for the news, especially after market hours, you know, since this is an earnings season going on. And I was searching for uh, the stocks which are making news or rather trending. And I found that, you know, some of the stocks which are really trending, for example, Facebook, Spotify, Qualcomm, Shopify, uh, Pins and uh, Twitter and so on. So basically, you know, Facebook was due for announcing earnings and uh, they did announce earnings. So let's just look at what happened to Facebook. Wow, look at the results. You know, Facebook is down 22%. So if you look at, you know, $900 billion as the market cap, 22% of that comes out to be approximately $200 billion. That's a huge, huge, large move that we are seeing on uh, Facebook. Now, of course, this Facebook um, effect probably affected some other companies as well. So let's just look at the entire social media. So if I look at Twitter, Twitter is down almost 8%. Let's look at Snap. And I see Snap is also down like almost 17%. What you see on my screen is a three month uh, daily bar chart. And uh, this is interesting because uh, Facebook has been finding a support approximately 300 price. And uh, you know it did hit the all time high or the upside target which was expected approximately 400 uh, so it did reach up to 384 and since then it's been just you know going sideways so for the past three months it's not gone really anywhere and uh, post uh, market hours if you look at it you will see that actually um, Facebook is down approximately uh, $70 here uh, $70 a year and if you can see that here $70 approximately 249 that's where uh, uh, Facebook is in the pre-market so that actually takes it even below 280 which was on my screen from a three months target perspective it's even below that so I'm going to change the settings from three months to a relatively longer period and then see if uh, there was really uh, something interesting now let's make this chart uh, relatively longer and uh, in this one year chart, as you will notice that I have had uh, a price target, which was sitting at approximately 400, 400 uh, area. And it touched approximately 384. Well, actually not approximately 384. It makes sort of a double top. And uh, since then, it's been like all, all the way just down journey. And the earning announcements were, of course, yesterday. And uh, that did not turn out to be well because as of now, the prices are down approximately 70%. So where is the most likely uh, price um, for the next support? And that support, in my view, comes out to be 240 and 220. So where is this level coming from 220 and 240? Let me show you that as well. If you're wondering what else do I have on my chart, basically I have implied volatility in my chart, which is showing uh, current implied volatility to be uh, approximately 48%, which is, you know, 86 percentile in the rank. But this is again based upon pre-earning, post-earning IVs will crash. So let's go ahead and let's look at this chart from a, uh, a relatively longer perspective. So I'm going to make it three months. And in the three months, you will see that I have um, a target which was set up at approximately 401. Now that was not reached, but uh, 384 something between 365 and 400, or you can say like an overthrow of 365 target was hit. Now since then it's been uh, down and it found support at that level. But if I were to really look at and show you the next level of support, you will find that is approximately 250. Uh, very clearly, which also happens to be a price right there that we see as of yesterday close. So if I were to pick a trade uh, or a bullish trade, you know, I would like to take this opportunity of Facebook crashing and uh, it's, it's a fantastic, um, um, you know, offer from the market at these prices. And of course, uh, you know, if you are watching it, you got to do your due diligence and see if you would like to um, follow this idea or not. I'm not making any recommendations. I'm just sharing with you my thought process behind this trade and what would I do. So I'm looking for picking up a trade and that's around 250. But once the market opens, we have to see whether it's continues to go down further. And if it continues to go down further, then my range is in this area, which is 224. Uh, which was approximately uh, or rather, you know, the high before COVID-19. But ideal desire will be somewhere around on this line, which is a relatively uh, much, much longer period. 
and this is connecting through a very large um, very uh, you know a longer time period um, line so let me just go and show it to you if i go for 10 year and weeks period you can see that this has been a <clears throat> a support line for a very long period and that joins around 186 so coming back to a shorter duration which is one year daily uh, as i mentioned 224 will be an area that i will be interested in uh, 224 which is somewhere around here uh, but currently price is 250 which is already huge so i don't think it's going to go down to 225 but if it does go in that's the area i will be looking at and uh, our secondary area will be uh, around 240, which is also not very far. Uh, it's right there. Now, there are many ways to build a strategy that you would like to open. Uh, you know, if you can choose to open simply a call option, if you, uh, you know, if, if you are following it. Uh, my personal preference in this case is going to be um, that I will probably pick up shares itself and then start writing calls on it and generate monthly coupons on it. Now, I will not be writing at the money calls. I will be writing calls which are approximately 2 to 3% out of the money and uh, so I can generate it. So once again, you know, uh, I'm not a very long-term investor in Facebook. I'm not looking at, at all from that point of view. All I'm looking for is what sort of opportunity is giving uh, to me right now and how I can capitalize on it. So if I were to build some strategy to show it to you, you know, how it looks like if you were to simply buy call option, or if you were to buy, uh, you know, a multiple uh, bullish strategy. So once again, it also depends on how experienced you are with the trading or investing or options trading. Uh, if you find it to be overwhelming or too complex, then you can simply just, you know, switch it off right now. And but if you just want to have entertainment and uh, see, you know, what sort of opportunities are available using options, then continue watching. Okay, so I'm in Tinkerswim and I'm looking at Facebook. So uh, Facebook as you can see around 249 of course the prices right now will not be correct prices because it is showing you option prices based upon what closed yesterday so yesterday actually Facebook was expected to move approximately $25 but you know it has moved like almost three times so uh, if you if you were to look at it you know just from a from a theoretical perspective if you would have purchased um, at 320 if you would have bought like 320 um, 325 call and 325 put so 325 call was uh, $11 and 325 put was $13 all you will be paying like you know if you just go in and analyze by strangle if you look at it you will find that you can simply create this spread using uh, approximately $23 and of course uh, if somehow you have an idea that you know Facebook can drop so much this kind of strategy would have produced a huge gains. You know, that will be a, a large, large sum. So as opposed to that, you can see that it's here around here and the gains would have been approximately $6,400. But you know, that's good over the shoulda. Nobody knows exactly, you know, what might be happening after earning announcement or at all if it will drop that much. So if you were to pick up now on Facebook, one of the things could be is, um, you know, I will be looking at personally buying, call, buying shares which are on 249 and uh, from share purchasing perspective it will cost me only half the amount and I can simply write calls against it based on the past results if you go back and we look at the chart so if I were to look at from a IV uh, perspective you know how IV will behave uh, IV means implied volatility will behave after earning announcement so I will go to studies and then simply add my volatility studies and I just go in and look for implied volatility and as you will notice that implied volatility after earning announcements actually tends to drop from 39 to about 30. So 7 to 8 percent points that you can expect it to drop this time around. It may be a little bit more, but it will come back and settle down somewhere around 35. So from 48, it will come down to around 35 or so. So which means that um, there is a good opportunity right at the open. So if you if you know I wanted to buy shares at the open at 250, I would be able to uh, capitalize on high option premium as well but that's not what I will prefer I would simply you know look for my price point I will wait for markets to open say give it a give and take about 30 35 minutes and um, then I will decide uh, to go in or not go in well another way of creating a bullish strategy or a bullish uh, trade is 
to sell put credit spread and um, you know one can simply choose an area which is somewhere around here on the support area to create a put credit spread which may be like you know 240 225 um, sort of trade give and take about three months of uh, days to exploration that gives one sufficient time to profit from the trade let the time decay work and it's a limited risk and uh, limited profit strategy so that's also fantastic but now you know if somebody just want to play a bullish uh, perspective via buying call option that can also be done but do keep in mind that call options uh, premium will decay uh, a little faster especially in the few days post earning announcement and the reason for that is as iv settled down and goes back to the previous uh, iv levels so it can be done that that way too but keep in mind um, as well that you know uh, even though the iv will be settling down the price may also bounce so it's a trade off between you know how uh, quick you uh, how quick one wants to get into the trade and in order to remove all these implied volatility factors that's the reason why I'm actually choosing to go and purchase the, the shares directly and then sell options against it. Other way of uh, trading a bullish uh, position on this or bullish strategy on this is via selling puts. So, you know, it's dropping to 250 and if I want to collect these shares at 225, I can actually be greedy and sell put options at 225 maybe one month out. So, either I will be given shares at 225 or I'll get to keep the premiums on that. There are many, many ways. So, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, if you want to trade bullish, you know exactly on how to trade uh, a bullish um, technique, a bullish strategy on, on Facebook. Keep it simple and um, you know do your due diligence talk to your financial advisor before you even pursue this idea uh, i share this purely from an education perspective uh, and what i'm planning to do i just wanted to share this with you let me know if you like it this was a quick overview to share with you on facebook right after the earning announcement it takes a lot of time to put this together and um, and uh, share and give you some insights so you can probably uh, seek out some opportunities now, this is not a crystal clear video on what exactly will be happening once uh, FB opens after markets are open, but at least it gives you some idea, some thought process on how to prepare um, before the market opens and where to look for some potential opportunity. If you enjoy this, if you like it, give us some thumbs up, you know, smash the, smash the like icon and uh, let us know uh, what else would you like to, would, what else would you like us to share with you? and uh, trade carefully if you are following it up trade carefully and i wish you all the very best this is coach manoj i look forward to seeing you in the next video happy trading